Hello and welcome to this video. Recently I received a request from one of my viewers to make a decoding tutorial on a Burgwächter combination padlock and so I bought myself one, here it is, it's brand new, and it's a three-wheel combination padlock model 9030. And although this has only three wheels, it does have four skates. And the decoding strategy for this lock is just the same as I developed and showed you on the Avus 16540 and I will add a link to the, to the decoding video of the Avus in the description below. But now to that lock, as I said it has four gates and just like on the Avus it has gates on every second number and uh, of course only one gate is a true gate. So let's start with changing the combination to a new arbitrary one. All right. And of course I need to pull on the shackle, therefore I use a carabiner for my convenience. And so now the first step is to get all the wheels in the gate, true or false, doesn't matter. I apply light to medium tension and test every wheel and turn it until I feel a, a stop. Here I felt a stop, so I leave it at that position, continue with the next wheel. You probably heard the little click and I felt a little give on the shackle. And now all the wheels are in a gate. It's, it's actually pretty easy to get the lock into this state. So now we need to differentiate between true and false gates. Therefore I apply again tension on the shackle and I pull uh, yeah, with medium to heavy tension on the shackle. And now I move the wheel left and right from the current uh, from the current position and check how much play it has. So this has a lot of play, this also has some play, and this has almost no play. So always take the one that has the, the least amount of play, push in the shackle, otherwise you cannot turn the wheel, turn it by two digits, pull out the shackle again, and now see what has changed. And for every step Again, test all the wheels and take the one with the least play or take the one that has changed from a lot of play to almost no play. And if you're unsure if, if two are um, um, almost having the same amount of, uh, of, um, of uh, showing the same amount of resistance, so um, are almost not moving at all, um, take the one where the uh, resistance changes the most when applying tension. So if you are applying tension on the shackle, slowly increasing the tension, and you if you feel one wheel binding more and more, then you take that one. Okay, these are the, two, the, the three possibilities of distinguishing uh, true from false gates. Okay, now let's move on. Has play, has less play, has a bit of play, I take the second. This has really a lot of play, it's currently I think it's not binding. This one is really binding a lot, it has almost no play. And this one, if I also if I apply a lot of tension I can I can move it a little bit. So this is probably in a true gate. And this one is binding a lot, so I push in the shackle that I can move the wheel. Now I've messed it up. No. Oh, it's open. It's already open. Okay, so that was easy. But the, but the rules apply. First, um, uh, apply medium tension. Try to uh, get all the wheels uh, in a gate. True or false, doesn't matter. Then apply medium to heavy tension and test every wheel. And for every step um, after you have changed the wheel, test every wheels, test test every wheel again. Take the one that shows the least um, amount of play, um, or take the one that changed from having um, a lot of play to um, less play. And if you're unsure about two, um, which may have um, the same amount of uh, 
of resistance that are um, almost not moving at all, take the one that shows the most uh, increase of resistance when applying more tension on the shackle. So, yeah, these are my uh, thoughts about how to decode this uh, Burgwächter combination padlock. I hope you found this interesting and enjoyable. Thank you very much for watching, happy picking and decoding. Bye bye! Alright, yeah, it's me again. Mm, the actual decoding of this lock was very quick and as this should serve as a tutorial, I want to demonstrate the methods on uh, detecting the different states uh, in the lock and of the wheels better practically than just telling you. So the lock is um, now in the closed state as you can see and the open combination would be 0, 0, 0 and as 6, 8, 0 is entered that means that we have a false gate at 1, false gate at 2 and a true gate uh, at 3. So now if I apply uh, tension on the shackle uh, we can see the first wheel has a lot of play, the second wheel has much less play and almost the same on wheel 3, so wheel 2 and wheel 3 are almost indistinguishable and we only know that we should not turn uh, wheel number 1 because wheel number 1 is either in a true gate or is not binding and we know 6 is not a true gate so wheel 1 is currently not binding. Okay, how do we distinguish uh, wheel 2 and wheel 3 regarding uh, the false gate situation? The, the trick is to release tension a little bit and to turn the wheel left and right while increasing the tension now and I can feel that at some point of, um, um, of the pull-out strength uh, the wheel doesn't change its resistance anymore. So if I now pull out really hard I can still manage to move the wheel and I do the same with a, a second wheel, turn it left and right and increase the tension and I can feel that the decrease of play, so the amount, the resistance increases, um, is directly correlated to the um, outward strength that I apply on the shackle. And if I apply really hard uh, outward strength on the shackle, if I pull it out really hard, I can almost not move the second wheel. So this tells me that the second wheel is the one um, that needs to be turned. And now I've turned it to the true gate. So 3 and 2 are now in a, in a true gate and if you, remember, if you remember how much play the first wheel had you can see how less it has now and now the other rule applies that if you find a wheel that has changed from a lot of play to almost no play please take that wheel because now it's again really hard to distinguish between the, the wheels they show almost uh, no play, but as we have seen that this one, the first one, had a lot of play before and changed to almost no play, we take that one. And now we need to make again the, the trick with, um, with the pulling, with increased um, pull-out strength to distinguish between the uh, three wheels, which one to take now. And yeah, again, if you really apply a lot of um, outward strength, if you pull out really strong and try to move the wheels, you can see I can manage to, to turn wheel number 3 left and right, also number 2, but not number 1. So number 1 is the one to move again and I can continue until I get all to the true gate and the lock will open. Alright, so yeah, I hope uh, this helps. Thanks for watching, happy picking and really now. Bye bye!